Master Wisp. This beach also blocked both hard camps, so he blocked the top one with a ward, and he blocked the hard camp with the with his uh, hero. So Chen thinks that his hard camps are oh, looking top. And top, they're actually gonna get first blood out onto this wisp. Yeah. A scenario that Mouse was worried about, just like Chen disrupting this lane, because I think normally the Clinks and the Wisp should be able to zone out the Sand King, but the Sand King's level 3 now. He's having a good time. They have a lot of kill potential on the Wisp if the Chen keeps coming in. Roger is nearby if they want to make their move. Meanwhile, down to the bottom, it looks like they get themselves a kill on Skylark. Look up top is Midara and uh, Spartaner looking to try and make something happen. Look to continue to get that farm push out Ghost Stick. He's actually going to get that Burrow Strike out on the Clinks. He might be in a little bit of trouble. Stunned up again and Madara has to run away. But Ghost Stick will get the kill and now they look towards Spartan who is a very slow Wisp. Ghost Stick does have that Burrow Strike once again. There's the Shockwave to follow it up and Roger gets the kill. I think something that people maybe forget is that the Chen and th doesn't really deal with the creep as well as say like a Crystal Maiden or a Witch Doctor would. And they're actually going to try to look to go on Roger. I'm not sure that's the best move. Shockwave comes out on two. Spartan's going to get very low but now the Light Striker Ray is going to hit on Roger. He's going to try and run away and now he won't make it out as the Dragon Slave does come in from Thug. And they've got the Sentry Ward back here as well so... Moving back may not be the answer, as he's going to be spotted by this ward. And this Chen... There's the Burrow Strike. Oh. It does hit. He's going to be dusted up as well. There's the stun coming in from these golems. And Roger gets another kill. They're pinging out Miposhka. They want to make a move over on him, but meanwhile, FN just going to continue to take the towers. We take a look a little bit lower. Here comes Spartan as well as maybe next time in Skylark. They try to set something up. There's the Nightmare coming through onto this Wisp. The Epicenter getting charged up onto Skylark. Going to try and run him down. Doesn't have the Burrow Strike to really close the gap. Meanwhile, they've lost Roger on the back end. Here it comes with the Shrine. Burrow Strike trying to just keep him low. And there's the Brain Sap to follow it up. Skylark still trying to run away. One more shot. Maybe they can find it as they do get the trap. Skylark, he's now looking to deny himself, but FN's going to end up getting the kill onto the Beastmaster. Yeah, Skylark walked through the ward, except Empire's converging mid for this kill. Yeah, maybe next time he'll get hit with the Burrow Strike. He'll be taken out easily, this time by Chappie. Well, the good news is he's level 6 now on the Bounty Hunter. Most ports oh, and they're sent relocate up for a gank. Relocate. And that's gonna be over by the Chen. I, I don't think they're even gonna find him. Meanwhile, the Burrow Strike comes out on two. They might be in a little bit of trouble. The Sandstorm's gonna get them well. They're immediately gonna blow up this Wiss. FN's coming in and he hits Thug really hard. Meanwhile, on the back end, maybe next time's gonna fall. And Thug just trying to get away, but there's the blink Burrow Strike coming out from Ghost Stick. They'll get themselves a third. Um, Team Empire reacted really quickly to that. Smoked up bottom, they're looking for a kill on this Bane. Sun King's gonna be ready to counter-initiate though, I think he knows something's happening here. Yeah, and they look to go in, and hitting first is gonna be Madara. They try to get him with the Axes as well as the Primal War. is gonna keep himself alive. There's a the Hand of God as well as the Nightmare, and Skylark's gonna be under tower. He might be in a little bit of trouble. is trying to survive, but he will end up falling first. So Spartan's here with Madara, but with Ghost Stick helping out, they do end up getting the return kill onto this Beastmaster. The second time she's casted it, and she's been slowed down so much from the uh, unstable current that she wasn't able to chase the target. And now Thug might be in a little bit of trouble. There's the meld strike, and just an easy kill for FN. Yep. FN's just so far ahead on the Templar Assassin. And they have tr like plenty of track kills. Then I think the gold advantage will swing like enough that the Klingus and the Lena will be able to to get stuff done in these team fights, but again, you're fighting into a Razor who is like 2,000 HP Burrow and a Templar Strike. Assassin with Aegis. Oop. Burrow Strike comes out on Madara. They're also going to get that dust out on him. Chappie, he's found his way into the fight. Meanwhile, Ghost Stick is going to end up dropping. They're going to try and get themselves a kill on Skywalker before he TPs out, but not going to be enough damage, and they actually get a tier 2. Meanwhile, over mid, FN's going to get a kill on Thug.
So Madara is here to spot Chappie. Let's see if they can continue to go in. There's the relocate coming through. They've got the track out on Chappie as well as Spartan coming through with this Wisp. But I think maybe they want to turn it around with FN and the rest of Empire coming through. They've got Ghostic. The relocate is going to be in one second, but he's not going to survive it. And now here comes the trap to slow down Skywark. He's going to be hit by that stun. The Burrow Strike coming out from Ghostic. Another Meld Strike comes in from FN. And they'll take out two. And Empire, they really turn that around quite nicely. Net worth is the Templar Assassin by about 4,000 gold. It's it's looking very good for them. As Meanwhile, over bottom, there's the Primal War as well as the Light Striker A. Laguna Blade, but the Nightmare is going to keep him alive. There's the Hand of God to follow it up. Skywark and Thug, they got to think about getting out of here. But there's the relocate from Madara and Spartan as they do end up getting FN. FN is going to be a six kill streak, and it's 826 go going the way of Skywark. Chappie, meanwhile, is going to get a kill on Spartan. And they turn that around on them again. So Madara gets a kill onto Chappie oh. for 550 gold. They're going to look even more on Maposhka. This one will be a track kill. And Thug gets one. And they cut 4,000 net worth off of that disadvantage. Got the relocate. They've got the vision coming out from maybe next time. Uh, Luna or could be there quickly too. Epicenter comes out top. Relocate out. Madara is going to be saved. Yep. So they might look to go in on this Wisp. Question yeah, that's is... the uh, the classic wait for the Wisps to return party. And he is going to come back. There's the Burrow Strike. A couple of hits come in from FN. They do get the kill and clean it up now 22-7. to 7. But while that's happening, coming over is going to be Mouse Sports. And they're trying to uh, they really start getting a couple of kills as they do see Roche coming oh. back up. They see the Templar Assassin. The Templar Assassin going to get lined up. There's the Light Strike Ray as well as the Laguna Boy. They get the kill. Meanwhile, Chappie on the back end is going to get himself one on Madara. So it's a one-for-one -one trade in your top tier cores. And now they look over towards maybe next time. So they're going to try and lock him down with the Nightmare. He's going to run away from the Eye of the Storm, continuing to hit on him. But he will be able to run himself out. Actually, you take a look over at Thug, who might be in a little bit of trouble. He's hit with that Yules as well as the Burrow Strike. Nightmare comes through. Now Thug, he's going to try and run away. The Medallion's out on him, trying to tether up and make something happen to Spartan. But now he's put himself down to the low ground. He's going to be locked up by Empire, and he'll fall here as well. Yep. Wow. You can see, like, Skylark's doing his best uh, to push out this way bottom, try to, like, pressure... Empire to make them feel like they can't uh, take a Rex for free. Yeah, it is interesting to note that, like, if the beast, if if there's like a base trade, I think Mel oh, Sports will do perfectly Spartan. fine. You know, a little bit of trouble. The Light Striker Ray comes out as well as the Dragon. So I have Spartan gonna try and get out, but there's the trap gonna be popped right on him. He's hit. He's down. He's dead. Oh. Has been the courier dead though. He's still got to be careful. Meanwhile, over mid, we take a look. The tier 3 is going to get hit down pretty low. But now with the TP coming back from Chappie, they're going to try and make something happen. There's the Yules. Maybe next time might be in a little bit of trouble. The nice Primal Roar comes out on Ghost Stick. He'll be cleaned up easily. So now trying to run away is Chappie from Skylark Mod Modera, uh maybe next time. But they do lose uh, half that Rax in the mid lane. Meanwhile, Spartan's going to get lit up by that Mel Trek. Laguna Blade's going to come out on Roger. Spartan's going to fall, but so does Roger. And it's a not that bad for Mel Sports, actually. Didn't want the possibility of giving up that gem since it's so important for, their, for them this game. I should just say. Drop that. But now they come over. Look for maybe next time. There's Eye of the Storm. Sentry Ward. Fiend's Grip. Fiend's Grip. Something we haven't really seen much of this game, honestly. Or at least I have. To hit the Bane, because he just dies instantly and... You know, it's best used as a, as a pick-off ability this game. Primal Again, bottom. Roar. Yeah. This bottom. is the gem. Primal Roar comes out, Ghost in a little bit of trouble. He's going to use that Sandstorm. He's still alive for the time being. There's the Yules. They take out one in Spartan. They're going to take out Skylark. So the Primal Roar used to initiate onto this Sand King turns around to bite them as there's FN, there's Chappie. They say hello. Yep. So there's Chappie coming through, trying to get a kill on a Spartan. The Laguna Blade hits Chappie as well. He's getting very low as Madara just hits away at him, but Chappie 
It's going to be able to survive for the time being, and they do end up taking out Spartan. It looks as though they'll take out Thug as well. And to die on Mouse Sports. Oh, Chappie popped the cheese there, so he survived. And all this movement speed coming from the Razor and the mobility from the Sand King and the Templar Assassins, really able to dodge the, uh, the ganks from Mouse Sports. So Ghostic between a rock and a hard place. So is Maposhka. He's going to get very low, but Skylark's going to be the first one to drop. Maposhka is going to survive through it all as FN. He's got himself another kill. There's the Burrow Strike with the epicenter. Madara will end up hitting the deck, and GG will be called by Mouse Sports. unless he uses en Enrage to tank some of the Rupture damage, but definitely not a bad pack. So Morphling comes out, and that's going to be Morphling safely in Ursa mid. I just feel like Skarwak might be able to steal that away. Yep. Skywark actually getting very low, and he's gonna have to pop that cell early on. So Chappie, Maposhka, and Roger doing an alright job up top. Meanwhile, over mid, oh. Oh, fucking. Looks spark. like a uh, FN tried to dive the tower or something because he died under the tier one. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think this Bloodseeker is gonna win the lane now, especially since there's a lot of damage on the enemy heroes, giving him uh, more charges of that thirst yeah they're looking for fn mid to get the searing chains as well as the kill so thug gets the kill on fn and it's now three to nothing mouse sports the madara is about to hit level six he's gonna have rupture so the, i think after the rupture the, oh yeah he's looking he for it i'm not sure if he should do this anymore Skier's gonna miss madara is gonna be very deep and Ghostic, Mapushka, and Roger are all here to watch this Bloodseeker hit the deck if they can just get one more shot, and they will as Roger gets the kill. You know, that's actually not that bad for Madara, because he's got, now he's got a free trip to the fountain. And he gets behind that tower, takes that tango, heals up. He's got to go all the way back, though. He's got no mana. Yeah. I think Bloodseeker's going for a kill here, but the two supports on Empire are on the way. And the Rupture comes out. Ghostic just trying to trade bows with Madara for now. There's the Brain Sap, so he's not in the safest spot that he thought he was in. Ghostic, that Rupture now done, so they're going to be able to look and scout him out with that Shockwave. So they look his way, and they find him out one more time. Yeah, not the best place for Madara to be. I don't think he was expecting the two supports to linger around that long, but... At the same time, I feel like his best kill might have been the... Oh, yeah, Bottoms was going Spartan. down. He's going to get very low. Well. All the spirits hit on Roger, as well as these tower shots. The TP's coming. Roger has to really get himself out of there. Remnant forward trying to get the Searing Chains or something on Maposhka. Maposhka is going to survive for now. Has that Brain Sap trying to run away, but the Flame Guard going to burn him out. And uh, Maposhka will end up dying to Thug. Hey, you got to watch both kills. There's a Night Stalker and a Bane going down. Okay, just the Night Stalker now. Night Stalker getting very low. Thug's gonna come in. They'll get the kill. Spartan kills right, and off then, Roger. Uh, we Skylark on the night. Yeah, we're taking a look up top. FN trying to close the distance on Skylark. And I thought they'd get the kill on Skylark. Chappie now gets the kill on maybe next time. I'm watching Skylark miss maybe next time. It's actually pinging out mid. I think they want to go for a kill on this Ursa. Ember getting ready for the Bloodseeker to come in. Yeah, they're going to come in, get the Veil out on FN. They're going to continue to try and get the Silence. They've got the Rupture out on him as well. He's going to have to use that ult to try and keep himself alive. He tries to run through it. But now with Thug and Madara here, they're going to try and make something happen. The Remnants are thrown forward, and they do end up getting themselves the kill onto the Ursa. Yeah, the cool thing about Bloodseeker is the Rupture cooldown is so low that you can always... Go for kills and it looks like they're going for, the for kills on, on Night Stalker. They're going to throw forward Thug. Thug's going to use that remnant, try and get himself the Searing Chains. They do end up getting him. He's going to be rooted up. Silence is going to be the Amber Spirit, but here is both Spartan and Thug. These wards really kicking in for most parts. Uh, 
Uh, Magnus is very, very far from his blink, and I think that's... Oh, there's a rupture down on bottom on the Night Stalker. Night Stalker does not have yeah, a they TP. Look towards this Night Stalker, Roger gonna get very low, still running with that rupture. He's gonna silence up Madara, so maybe they find something in return. And now there's the RP that's gonna come out on a couple, and now with the wave four, maybe next time gonna get very low. He's gonna try and heal himself back up. Madara's gonna Ember try Spirit's and be on the run. In. Ember Spirit with the Veil and the Searing Chains, and now it looks as though they're gonna turn it around on the Magnus. They'll get themselves a kill. And they're not going to find any on the side of Empire. No one can really deal with him. Uh, unless they send, like, a lot of heroes or unless, uh... Ooh, FN getting very low trying to kill off Spartan. Throwing out these spirits again. Going to tether forward and get the kill. So FN. A little bit of style there. And now we take a look up top as they look towards Moposhka. He's going to be very low. Skylark here with the repel. They get the brain sap to keep Moposhka a little bit healthy and he'll be able to get out and you know sometimes you just solo kill on ursa's wisp and uh you know happens to go look over down bottom here comes the re remnants in from the ember straight he's gonna get himself a kill roger's gonna go down bloodseeker gets himself one now looks as though they're trying to get this Ember Spirit. He's going to be hit up by this Fiend Script. They've got the Sword Crest out on FN, but it's not going to be enough to keep him away from this Ember Spirit. They're going to continue to chase. They waveform forward. Spartan's going to try and keep himself alive. They're over by the Shrine. There's the Guardian Angel. And now it looks as though Empire just going to continue to move on forward. They've lost nobody in this fight just yet. They're looking for the Ice Path. That's going to land on to Chappie. And now coming in is going to be this Bloodseeker. But he's silenced up. They'll finally get the hit with the Purification coming through on to uh, on from Skylark on a Ghost Stick. They do end up getting the kill. They're looking towards Maposhka. They'll get themselves another one. And they look for more. They look towards this Omni Knight. But now Roger as well as FN are going to be silenced up. And Maus, they've completely turned this around. FN might be in a little bit of trouble. And he will fall to maybe next time. Yep, this mouse lineup doing work. You have the healing from the Wisp on the Omni, Omni Knight. That, but it's starting to show how they can kind of fight around this Empire lineup. Take a look over top as they're going to try and go for this Ember Spirit. Three are making their way over. They're all smoked up. They're going to try and get this silence. They finally do. And now they look with the blink. FN's going to try and get himself a quick kill on Thug and will. And the relocate oh. comes in. Madara and Spartan are here. And Empire going to Delta Maneuver out. Flying over the cliff is going to be Roger into the hands of Skylark. Ice Path going to stop that TP out. And Spartan will end up getting the kill on Roger. Really is. What's Empire doing? They're just chilling. Yeah, I feel they're like waiting they're thinking for about going around. I think they're waiting for people to TP out. Or retreat, but they haven't found anybody yet. And actually, as I say that, they look towards Madara, and now they get that Fiend's Grip. Spartan does not have Relocate for a while, but the Purification comes out to keep him alive. There's the Guardian Angel as well as the Repel, and now they're in a bit of trouble on the side of Empire. They're going to get this Rupture out on FN. That'll keep them stationary for just a moment. They're going to take out Ghostic out on the side, and now... Let's see if they can do anything as FN does end up falling. And then the Omni Knight healed them, and the Bloodseeker had a Solar Crest, so the, the Ursa was missing so many attacks. And that. Uh, so he lives, and Mouseport seems like they're gonna get a tier 3. Yeah, maybe looks, even. Uh, maybe even a Bane. <laughs> yeah. Add that to the list as Maposhka gets very low, the Brain Sap keeping him alive. But not alive long enough, and they're going to end up losing this tier 3 mid. Uh, so he's able to split push a little bit more safely. The only thing he's worried about, I think, is somehow getting bursted within an ice path. Or getting his Lincolns broken and somehow getting silenced or by, uh, by Bloodseeker. But it's possible for Morphling to get his E Blade and for. Uh, person to get his items as well. And they're actually looking over towards bottom to get a kill on Thug. They're going to make their way over. Fiend Script's going to come through and immediately dead because of the double damage on FN. They're going to come in with the Wisp, maybe trying to make something happen as Madara is here and the Rupture comes out on Moposhka as well as the Silence. He's just going to TP away, but no. No, he will not. Skylark says, away with you. He'll be able to replicate out and use that trying to keep himself a little bit healthy. Meanwhile, you see the silence comes out on Ember Spirit. Nobody did on either side just yet. Here comes the tether onto Madara. There's still an RP. I think he's going to look for it here. 
trying to make something happen. There's the remnant on forward with the silence. Makoshka is going to drop. There's an RP coming out on just maybe next time. And uh, now they try to turn it around on Mouse. They've got this Guardian Angel. The Fiend Script's going to come out on Madara. That's going to keep him out of the fight for just a little bit longer. As now he up, it's going to be Makoshka. So that'll keep him steady and free and that will get them a kill onto roger but meanwhile they've lost three and chappy he's looking to turn this around with fn they're gonna look to clean up this blood seeker not once but twice it may not be christmas but they're checking their list they're checking it twice looking for this blood seeker and trying to make something happen silence is gonna be fn they're gonna continue to try and chase there's that nightmare ghost they're gonna look for the skewer back into their base as the rupture now hits on ghost stick and they will finally Bring down Madara. Yeah, not the kind of push that most sports were looking for, but Empire played that really, really well. Now, it's also interesting to note that Skylark got a blink on the Omni Knight, so now if his team gets RP'd and skewered somewhere, he's able to blink in and land that Guardian Angel to save them from the Ursa. Meanwhile, up top, they got the Nightmare as well as the Fiend's Grip. FN's going to clean up this Ember Spirit. Yep. Bit of an Empire looking tournament. like they're coming back into the game. Uh, I think if he Glimmer Capes in time, the E-Blade combo from Morphling should be able to take him down. Sorry. Actually, it's Morphling doesn't have a have a TP, so... Yeah, he's very far from the fight. They're going to have to commit to trying to take a uh, Tier 3 top against Mouse. As Mouse is looking for their Tier 3 bottom. Hack Mouse is going to continue to hit away at this Tier 3. But you need to worry about their Tier 3 as they've just lost it and now... Chaffee's heading towards taking their racks. They're trying to make something happen as now very low is going to be Ghost Stick. They're looking to take Mikoshka out of that Fiend's Grave, trying to make something happen. FN's going to be hit by that Rupture. Now in the Ice Path, he'll be taken out, so two die, but they've lost their racks up top, so oh. how worth it is this? Now Chaffee's yeah. all the way back, and Chaffee's going to kill off Madara. So there's the waveform forward. They're going to try and make something happen. There's the Searing Chains as well as the Remnant's going to try and burst down some of these heroes. Roger getting very low. He had just fought back. He's going to be dead for 60 seconds. Meanwhile, on the back end, Skyler's going to be obliterated by FN. And now Chappie just doing quick work of this Ember Spirit. They've taken out a couple. The Ice Path only on Maposhka. They'll take out Spartan as well. They look towards this Jakiro, but he'll be able to TP out. And Chappie's going to make a, a replicate of the Magnus, and he's going to head bottom. So let's think, see uh, what they can do. Roche getting very low. Not quickly, though. They silence up this Wisp. Immediately lose him. They're trying to get the silence on a couple of these heroes. Empire Ghost Stick is not going to get hit by that silence. There's the two-man RP. They try to turn this around, but the Guardian Angel comes out, as well as the rest of Mouse. So let's see what they can do. Macropire on the deck as well as this Ice Path. The sign's going to come through. It disarmed his FN. They've already lost the Jakiro. They've already lost this Wisp. And now they look towards getting themselves an Omni Knight. He'll be the next one to fall. And let's see. Thugs put himself between a rock and a hard place. Jumping in in front of Chappie and Roger. He'll be the next one to drop. Buying back is going to be Scar Skylark. But Madara, he's all by himself. He's going to be repelled. He's got that Blade Mail. Silence around these heroes. And they'll look to finally take out FM. But the e is going to keep him alive for now. Madara is moving at mock speed. With all these heroes just so, so low. Average. And the Nightmare is going to keep FN alive. They look to get this adaptive strike out on Madara. They will. And now they have the Solar Crest out on him from Maposhka. They continue to work on forward. They're trying to get the relocate out. The Silence is going to blast them away. Ghost is finally going to drop. And they've also lost FN. That's uh. They're actually Bloodseeker is just turbo. Yeah, Bloodseeker is actually going to decide not to go back. There's the silence. Amaposhka is going to try and TP out, but with the purification, that is not going to work. Yeah, it looked really good for Empire there until the Wisp relocated back into the fight. Take a look over mid. There's the E-Blade. Wow, Madara getting very low. They're going to pop that. Lincoln's on Chappie, but he'll be able to escape. Madara getting very close to dying right there. Yeah, but they'll be able to feel, uh, heal uh, Madara up the phone. Looks like there's a relocate happening Yeah, somewhere. relocate from Madara, but into an RP coming out from Ghost. They, they start to hit away. They look towards Madara. He's going to use that Blade Mail. So is Spartan, and now they got that Rupture out onto FN. He'll be immediately trying to TP out. Spartan's going to drop, and Ember Spirit trying to make something happen. Roger just trying to juke, and he'll use that Flight to put himself away in the trees. They finally pop the Aegis on this Bloodseeker, but that looks to just be it. But also, like, in fights, it's so important to have vision because they need to 
Most supports don't have a lot of lockdown, so they need to be able to hit the right heroes. Oh, if you can't see them coming. He's in a little bit of trouble as Empire's coming over. There's an RP on two, and immediately blown up is going to be Spartan. They're going to continue to move on for more with Madara. He'll fall worth uh, that ever fancy 322 gold. Take a look over bottom. Chappie just trying to do work. There's a purification waveform comes out from Chappie. He'll look towards these racks once again. And there shouldn't be much in his face when the Bloodseeker is uh, dead. So Silence coming through on these illusions, just trying to take him out as it continues to demolish this creep wave. They look over towards this Ember Spurt. He's going to be silenced up. The Darkness is going to be used. He's going to continue to fly on forward to try and close the gap between some of these heroes as he's going to waveform as well as the E-Blade out onto this Wisp. But right away, Chappie getting very low. We take a look over at the back end of this fight as he's going to be Guardian's Angel as an RP came out on three. They're going to get the Fiend's Grip coming out on Ember Spirit, and FN's going to get very low. Here comes the Relocate coming in from Spartan as well as maybe next time. BKB is going to be popped by FN just to get himself out. And now he's in a little bit of trouble. He'll fall as well as he's going to be closed off by that Ice Pad. Uh, a lot more of that. Or keep the Wisp alive a lot more than Morphling can keep his, himself alive. And they're going to continue to just look for these racks as now Nightmare Up is going to be this Bloodseeker. is going to be skewered back into the middle of uh, this base of Empire. While that's happening, maybe next time he's going to be taken out. Madara is getting very low. There's the Repel as well as the Silence coming through. Chappie going to get very low. He's going to be hit by that Rupture. And now let's see what the side of Mouse can do. They're going to heal him up. Chappie's still just sitting there. Skylark going to start to hit away. There's the Adaptive Strike. And this is kind of an odd situation as now they lose Skylark and Spartan. So they lose both of them. Madara is going to try and hit away a Chappie as well as Ghost Stick. And maybe not the move. So he's going to be skewered back to the high ground. Meanwhile, Thug off camera is going to be killed. So Wisp buys back. And I kind of kind of see what he's going to do. But Madara is going to end up being blown up by Chappie. So that's a full team wipe and Wisp buying back. They can still defend this uh, this final racks, but it's going to cost them a lot. So there's the buyback from Bloodseeker. You take a look as Spartan trying to get away from FN. He's going to have to use that ult and the BKB. We take a look over mid. Chappie just hitting away at these racks. There's the rupture. Madara is getting very low. He's got that blame mail out as well as the repel. They're going to try and focus down Chappie, but I'm not too sure there's that much they can do. Ember Spirit's going to try and come in. They're going to try and get the silence out onto Chappie. Do anything. And there's a big three-man RP. Guardian Angel is going to be used. But how much is it going to do? They're skewered back into their base. Go home, says this Magnus. And now they look towards taking out this Wisp. He's alive with just a little bit of health, but right into the hands of Roger. He'll fall to dead Skylark and Spartan. There is no stopping him right now with the lineup that Mouse is throwing his way. So now they've got the Ice Path as well as the Remnants trying to bounce and do some damage and... Chappie going to be used up, still trying to do something. Roger's on a killing spree as he takes out maybe next time. Empire, they just, they can't find an answer. <laughs> they get the silence coming through on FN, who's going to run through that rupture. Will also BKB up, and Madara will end up falling to the shockwave of Ghostic. They'll lose maybe next time again. Four dead on Maus and Empire. They just will not go away. They will not die as the Nightmare is there. On to this Ember Spirit. GG is going to be called and Empire will take this series 2-0. That fight was so weird because like five of the heroes on both, or like some of the heroes on both teams were sitting at like 10% health. The one wanted to fully commit.